Yeah, I think the Oko moves nowadays are just like a flat 30%. Like anything that affects your accuracy does not affect the accuracy of those moves. I might be crazy. So like raising your accuracy in stages or using like wide lens, I don't think that affects. Or like gravity. I don't think that affects anything. Okay. Um, I don't know what this Latias is going to do, so I'm just going to fake it out and uh, T-Wave the Charizard. I don't know. I got distracted by Arceus. Are you fucking kidding me? Grim. Get your shit together. I really kind of needed that T-Wave to hit last time. Swordship was fun until people- I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've used the time and date exploit before. Just to get stuff for, for competitive. Like, you build teams on Showdown and you play around with them, but it can be kind of difficult sometimes to get them on cartridge. So I have- I have used- ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! <sighs> Bitch. I swear to God. <sighs> you play them so slow you don't have time to finish them. Yeah, I played Arceus like really slow. I feel like everybody finished and I was over here like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Might as well go for a T-Wave on Latias at this point. Because I'm hoping... I don't know what I'm hoping. Why did that Charizard take such little damage? Like, I know it's behind Reflect, but still. You have six stars. I think I only have six stars in Arceus. I finished the game. Um, but I'm still having to finish the Pokedex. So, it's taking me a while. <laughs> you actually, you don't have to get to ten stars to finish the game. Are you... Fucking kidding me! I just missed. Okay, what is the accuracy of Thunder Wave? It's what seventy-five percent. I have to know what the odds are of me missing Thunder Wave three fucking turns in a row because I want to throw my controller. It's a ninety accuracy. So my odds of missing it three times in a row. Zero point one percent. We'll double check after this, but if it's a 90% accuracy, if it's a 90% accurate move, then my odds of missing three times in a row are 0.1%. And I definitely lost this game because I missed Thunder Wave three times in a row. It was probably Sash, so it's fine that we're two hitting the Sableye here. Also okay with the burn here because really boom's really more of a support Pokemon. It doesn't do a ton of damage. Oh, Fulpira! <laughs> Suck it. Okay, let's knock off a Metagross. Let's go for the Spirit Break on Sableye. There's rumors of regional variants still being a part of the game. For, well, because we saw Hisui and Zoro work, Zoro arc, didn't we? So we know that they might put Hisuian forms in too. Haha, <laughs> I can't quash me. Fuck, it was weakness policy. No! Crap. Crap, 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 crap. You have a soft spot for Dynamax because those are the games you worked on. What? You worked on Sword and Shield? Like, for real, for real? I cannot with this right now. Literally, you know what I did? Okay, she sleeps. What was Rayquaza's move? Life Orb? Good. 
she sleeps um, in her crate in the living room. I let her out of her crate. I let her outside a couple of times um, to see if she had to like pee, if that was it. And she still kept wanting to go back out every time I brought her back inside. And again, it's like four o'clock in the morning, it's dark outside, whatever. So I kind of just like left her out there. <laughs> I left her out in the living room kind of by herself and then I came back to my bedroom and shut the door on her and was like, no, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> you won't let me go to sleep, I'm going to sleep. You worked on the Let's Go games and Sword and Shield and it's DLC. You wrote the strategy guides for those games, cool. Boom, look at that. Oh, there's a crit on Metagross. It was so tragic, Allie. Literally, literally. I'm like laying on the couch. I'm trying to get her to lay on the floor next to me because usually she'll kind of settle down if I like pet her. So like I'll, I'll lay on the couch, she'll lay on the floor next to me and I'll kind of have my hand petting her. And I can usually like doze off and just leave my hand on top of her and she'll like lay and doze with me. She would not for like almost an hour. <laughs> she was like, Nope, nope, I want to snarl at you, I want to bark at you, I want you to let me outside, even though it's 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> she was just like not settling down at all, so finally I was like, you know what, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going back to bed and I'm shutting the door so you can't come in with me. And I could hear her like collar jingling and I could hear her kind of like, when I say snarl, she does this like under her breath kind of growly thing where she's just kind of like, you know, like grumbling. I could hear her like grumbling at the door a little bit longer and I could hear her like jingling up and down the hallway like going back between the back door and like my door like come on let me outside <laughs> and I just ignored her and I finally got to go back to sleep and then I got up for good at like seven so I got like an extra like hour and a half after all that happened but like I really want to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> And by sleep in, I mean sleep until the time my alarm goes off, which I almost never get to do. <laughs> okay. This game actually seems like it's going kind of okay for me. I'm not gonna lie. I know, right? And she is not normally like that. She normally likes to get up pretty early, but she'll kind of lay calmly in her crate and like wait for us to get up, you know? So she doesn't normally do that, but t today she was just like, nope, I'm up, so you have to be up too. I don't know what the, I don't know what was different about today, but <laughs> it was a trial, I must say. Exactly, she woke up and chose Violet. She said, nope. Let's finish off Rayquaza. No, let's not do that. Let's Quake the Kyogre, because I don't want it water spouting, water spouting at full health. I mean, I, I do, I would recommend pets. They're nice to have, you know, but, uh, fucking Ice Beam. Knew it. <gasps> oh my god, thank god, an immediate thaw. <gasps> ah! That was terrifying. <laughs> that was insane. It was like, I'm gonna die. Oh no, wait, Yacha Berry. Oh no, wait, I'm frozen. Oh no, wait, I'm thawed. Thank God. <laughs> and he quit. <laughs> they said, one turn thaw, I'm done. <laughs> what? This seems like unfair. Glacier and Calyrex Ice on the same team? Yeah, that Max Hailstorm, once it happened, I was just like, fucked. 
Also, the fact that they have Cali Ice and Glass Gear on this team means I'm also extra fucked. My team's kind of weak to ice. <laughs> but, like, Zygarde's really my only Dynamax Pokemon, so what else am I gonna do? Not bring it? <laughs> do you think this is double Trick Room? I mean, it's perfectly legal. You're, you can only have two of the, like, restricted legendaries. Those are, like, Calyrex, Ice, and Di Diaga, the, like, box art legendaries. You can have only two of those on your team, but the, like, lesser legendaries, you can have as many as you want. The thing is, is that a lot of them have, you know, they they have weaknesses. You just have to learn how to play around them. Okay, I'm very concerned this is double Trick Room. So, I'm gonna fake out the Diaga, taunt the Calyrex. Okay, no Dynamax. Makes me think even more that this might have been double trick room. <laughs> oh, there's a trick room. Flare Blitz the Cali, I guess. Taunt Diaga now so that it can't use trick room. <laughs> Still no Dynamax. Ooh, don't die. Yeah, that was good damage. Fucking bitch. Oh yeah, there's Zacian's the most popular legendary. It's got the highest usage. It's because it's so good and it can't Dynamax, so it's not taking up your Dynamax slot. That makes it like really good. Okay, I don't want to put Zacian out in front of Dialga because Earth Power. But I want to make sure I take that Calyrex down, but I also want to get damage on Dialga. Seeing how much Flare Bloods did, I think, I think that should kill. But just to make sure, I'll also Moonblast it. Because I, I cannot let that Calyrex. Ooh, okay, so we'll get a single target. Thousand arrows. Dawn main Necrozma? I haven't used Dawn main Necrozma. Is it good? I mean, I guess it's good against Zacian. Should that be my next uh, legendary I try to do? Why does Dialga have Ice Beam? Oh. <sighs> Okay, so guess what? <laughs> We're about to Dynamax our 1 HP Whimsicott. <laughs> you ready? <sighs> Maybe instead of leftovers, I should be running the Ice Berry, whatever the Ice Berry is on Zygarde. What do we think? Is that a better item? You did some competitive during XY, but you skipped Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield. Funny, funny enough, Sword and Shield is the only game I've ever done competitive in. I started like a couple years ago during the pandemic and I, I never played before that. I've never watched before that. That was kind of all I ever really did. Yeah, Dynamax that Gloucester I expect. An unknown error? What? I don't think this Behemoth Blast is gonna be enough. Behemoth Blade. Oh! <gasps> Are we in this? Uh <laughs> Please die. No, Dihonga. <laughs> no. 
Don't die, Zacian. Okay. This might be okay, depending on what this Pokemon is. Oh, it's fucking Landers. And it might be Scarfed. Okay, I kind of want to protect Zacian this turn. Take Diaga off the field so that we can double Landorus next turn. Why is my, like, Whimsicott actually doing something, too? Like... <laughs> Okay, well, my Whimsicott's dead now, so there will be no doubling, but regardless, I think this is okay. Okay, I still don't know if this Landorus is scarfed or not, is the thing. I kind of just have to, like, hope. Because <laughs> if it's scarfed, I lose. And if this doesn't one-shot, I lose. That intimidate. Damn. I died in max of one HP Whimsicott and I almost pulled it back. Yeah, I'm actually gonna lead Wim Grim and save Zygarde and Zacian in the back because I have no idea what they're gonna lead here. And I wanna be able to react to it. So I'm gonna lead both of my support Pokemon so that if I need to switch one of them out, I can without losing too, too much. <laughs> I am trying so hard to have fun with Zygarde on the ladder, but I'm getting a little fucked over, not gonna lie. Um, ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Both of my Pokemon are fairy types, so Dragapult can't Dragon Darts. <laughs> Um, let's get a Tailwind up. That seems most important. As well as a Reflect. Probably an Airstream into Whimsicott if I had to guess. Mm. Helping Hand. I don't love that. I don't love it at all. Oh, a Max Flare into Grimmsnarl. I mean, my Grim's dead, but I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, now watch this, watch this, watch this. We know the Dragapult has a Dragon type move, right? And it's probably gonna use it into Zygarde here. I'm going to Misty Train with Whimsicott. <laughs> One, it'll override the Psychic Train so that I can taunt um, in DD next turn, but I'm gonna Misty Train to have the power of the Dragon type move. And we'll, we'll steal a spike uh, to increase our defense a little bit more. I really, really want this Dragapult to fucking Wormwind right now so I can laugh at it. I mean, it'll lower my attack, so that'll suck a little bit, but, like, that would be really funny. So I still kind of want it to happen. Okay, follow me, whatever. Bye, Psychic Terrain. Hello, Misty Terrain. Get my defense up. Ouch, poor Ndidi. <laughs> oh no, that still did so much damage! Wait! What the fuck? 
Ouch, me! Okay, well, let's uh, haunt the Indeedee. You're too bad. You're too bad at battling to understand what's going on, but it's fun to watch. Oh, well, I should I should be doing a better job of explaining then. If you don't know and understand what's happening, then I'm doing a bad job of explaining. So <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot going on here. I thought I had the upper hand, but I'm fucked now. So is that helpful? So basically, mystery terrain, what it does, it's like a fairy type terrain that you can set up on the ground. Um, it removes status effects, so you can't set up a status effect on mystery terrain, but it also has the power of dragon type moves. Both Dragapult and Zygarde are dragon type, so I know the Dragapult has a dragon type move, and that it's probably going to use it on my Zygarde because it's super effective. And so the mystery terrain kind of protected my Zygarde from dying there. Without it, I think my Zygarde would have died. <laughs> no, your brain doesn't have to be very big. Literally, I knew nothing. I knew, like, nothing about... Okay, time for us to moon blast the drug pool, I think. I knew, like, nothing about um, competitive Pokemon before... I started actually playing a lot of a lot of the knowledge just kind of comes with experience you know fuck okay yeah that was a crit that's what I thought it a lot a lot of the knowledge of of like VGC competitive Pokemon it comes from experience right like I've played Dragapult a bunch of times so like I know what Dragapult is probably gonna do and I was mostly right no surprises from Dragapult there Oh, good. I sense the presence of many. Watch me heal back up. And turn into whatever the fuck that is. Okay. And Tailwind is up, but Whimsicott is still on the field, so we can reset it. <laughs> You just like catching pretty things. You know what? I was look. I I used to play Pokemon the same exact way. Okay, I would always have like the cutest Pokemon on my team, and my very my very first Pokemon team I ever made for competitive. I had a friend help me build it, and I wanted to make a mono fairy team, like where all the Pokemon were all fairy types on the team because of course, fairy's the cutest type. Um, <laughs> and I really just. Four more turns of reflect, plus three defense. I think I can foil here to raise my attack a little bit. Um, so basically what I'm saying is if you wanted to, if you were interested in it, one, tons of people would be willing to help you. I'm totally willing to help you. Two, you can have pretty teams. Maybe that should be my, my next team. I want to make a team with just Pokemon that I think are cute. Maybe that should be my next team. Oh my god, look how little damage that did. I kind of love it. Okay, Whimsicott's still alive. I love that, too. Okay. So, now Zygarde's back to neutral on attack. We have Tailwind, last turn of Misty Train. Also last turn of Taunt. We should probably just try to take a needy down. Like fighting games, it's about playing and seeing enough situations that you have experiences to pull from and react appropriately. Exactly. Like if you have a wide base of experience, if you've played enough, then you can guess what's going to happen a lot of the time. And that really, it really just does come from experience. Sometimes you guess wrong and then you lose. <laughs> but most of the time that comes from experience. <laughs> my Zygarde is unkillable. I love it. I mean, all I can do is do this again. We have Tailwind up, so Zygarde should be going before Zacian. Okay, so it didn't use Aqua Jet. It really should have, because we have Tailwind up. And Whimsicott would outspeed our Shibu anyway, so... 
Maybe they didn't have Aqua Jet. I mean, they should have protected and then, like, Aqua Jetted Whimsicott, probably. <laughs> That's why I've been having fun with Zygarde, because if you can get it to set up, it's, like, so hard to kill. But then also it has a little bit of a problem of, like, all my friends are dead syndrome, where if it gets intimidated too much or its attack drops too much, it can't really do any damage, but they also can't kill it. So it just sits there doing nothing on the field, kind of. 